So group is our version of, of advisory. The thing about that is they're, that they're already a group, right? So um, they're together for four hours a day. So some of the basics that need to occur in, in in an advisory, this is a core group where you can rely on one another and you know what happens here stays here. That stuff kind of has already occurred just from the structure alone, which allows them to then go deeper. Um, they are counselors, or trained social workers who are running who are running group. So they're able to run whatever they think or whatever the students decide. Um, is needed for that arena in that given time. So sometimes it's to set goals for the whole arena. We have competitions, um, you know, they'll talk about how the arena is functioning as a group, um, but also they'll deal with all the topics that you might deal with in advisory. Um, but because the kids tend to trust one another more, they're able to get into the specific needs. So Bronx Arena is very family oriented and the teachers actually care about you and the students actually care about you. Like me, when I first came to um, Bronx Arena, it's like a transfer school, and transfer schools usually have negative connotations with them. So I was scared, but then I realized like, oh, these kids are cool, they're, they're nice. I don't even know if they implemented that on purpose. I don't think they did, but it's just a good environment where teachers and kids all appreciate each other. Um, so group happens once a week. It occurs on Tuesdays, right after their learning lives. Learning lives is like their equivalent to first and second period. Um, it's facilitated by the advocate counselors, and it just contains the advocate counselors and the students. It's one of the few times that it's just the students and just the advocate counselors in the room. Um, <clears throat> and those activities usually look like um, community-based activities and games, deeper discussions. Um, some of it's like health-related, like we may talk about like sex. Or for, especially in my arena, we make it an opportunity for open dialogue. If ever you had an opportunity to speak freely, whether it is with like a little bit of vulgar language or touch on subjects that I would normally be like, this isn't the time for, a uh, group has kind of made that, that safe space for community building or just like growth amongst one another. I think a lot of times because the students are all at different places and they are all working on something different, group is one of those things that regardless of what group number you're on, group participation looks like group participation. So whether or not you're in group three and I'm in group five, like that one participation task is exactly the same for both of us. And you don't really get to see that too often in, in other classroom structures and areas. Because if we were both in algebra and I'm on what's considered like challenge one and you're considered on challenge two, us sitting and working together doesn't make any sense. You're way ahead of me. But group kind of like resets that kind of like normative vibe, which kind of like allows them to be like everyone here at this exact moment in time, regardless of your credit amount or what you need, are all equal.